Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Code for Kids. How are you all? How was your day? I hope you are enjoying your day. So in this video, we are going to learn about Arcary project. It's a very simple project. So what I will do first, I will run this project. So you will get one arrow here, one player here. You need to just press your space bar. So whatever color you will get like so for red color we gave 150 so that value you are able to get in this list suppose again i got red so you will get 150 for white we don't have any point for black for blue it's 100 for black it's 50 so this project we are going to create today and this is very simple project okay if you don't know how to log in into the scratch, how to use the scratch, how to add a sprites, backdrop. So for that video link, I already created that video link. I will give you that link into the description box. Try to check that. Okay. So for this project, we need to first create one backdrop. As you can see, this is our backdrop. You need to paint it like... Uh, According to your choice, you can select a color. So I added white, black, blue, red, yellow. According to your favorite color, your choice, you can add the colors. And you can create some background designs. So this only we want for our backdrop. We added only one backdrop here. And we will require one sprite, which is arrow. So this is nothing but our player. We created this arrow. So for this project, we want only one backdrop and one sprite. Okay. Now we will see what logic we are going to use here. It's a very simple logic. Like we will give one range. We will provide one range for this arrow. Only this range. Arrow will move to only this points on x axis and y axis and once we will press the space bar we need to reduce the arrow size and whatever color arrow will select okay that value we are going to add inside this list only this logic we are going to implement in this project okay so we will start with this when flag is clicked like when we will run the project we need to broadcast one arrow like we need to create one arrow once we will press the flag button once we will run this project after this what will happen once we will receive this arrow like here as you can see we broadcasted the arrow once we will receive this arrow we need to go to one particular position for this arrow. So how you will decide what position we want. For example, my arrow is here. So you need to take these values from x-axis and from y-axis this value. Suppose you want uh, the starting of arrow from here. So again you need to Take this value from x-axis and this value from y-axis. So according to your choice, what position you want for your arrow, you need to add that values here. Inside, go to x. And this block you will get from here. Okay. After this, in the forever, now my arrow will glide. Glide means it will continuously move from this range only. So it will take a range from this on x-axis and on y-axis in this point. So what is this x-axis and y-axis? So the stage area is divided into two parts. This is our x-axis, the horizontal, the vertical one is the y-axis. Over here you will get positive value. Here you will get negative values. On right side, you will get positive x. Here, you will get negative x. So, according to this, we are getting the values. Okay. After, once we will glide this. Now, what we want after that? With space key is pressed. Okay. Now, here what we did. When flag is clicked, we need to broadcast an arrow. 
and we need to go to one particular position for x axis so we will select a random value and one y axis also we will add this random values okay after this when space key is pressed like from event we, uh, we need to add this when space key is pressed we need to stop everything that you will get in the control scroll down you will get stop all instead of all we will select other script like once we will press the space key we need to stop everything in the repeat we will change the size like we will decrease the size of this arrow like this like we need to decrease the size why because we have to select this particular color now when our arrow will touch to this yellow color the middle one we need to start one sound which is cheer because that is the winning point it will say 200 point and this value we will add in this list so how you will create a list in the variable instead of make a variable we need to select make a list write your list name so as you can see we gave the score and inside this list we will add this values like 200 same we will do if we will touch to the red color if this will touch to the red color you will get 150 point if we will touch to the blue color you will get 100 point and for black we will get 50 point so this logic we need to build here okay so just follow this code and try to create your own archery project okay so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon if you want more latest updates so thank you so much